Akele Donu Diku. Akele Donu. Governor. Welcome once again to this channel. Here we have the Nostradamus, as he is called, Prophet Marcos Tibetan. He often put out vision, prophecy, prediction, as it is called. He has a book, Revelation 2010, Revelation 2020, Revelation 2023. He has a series of this. And we are going to listen to him. And he's going to read the exact words of his prediction about Governor Akeridolu. Akeridolu passed away in the early hours of today. And Ondo State Indigene, the southwest of Nigeria, they, they, they are in deep tears. And Akeridolu, Akeridolu's family also, they, they are struggling with this. They've been trying to find solution to the continuous, the prolonged health crisis of Akere Dolu. On some newspaper pages, it is written that Akere Dolu suffered from and passed away from cancer of the blood, leukemia. And on some tabloid, it is written that Akere Dolu passed away from chronic, prolonged, protracted, prostrate cancer. Regardless, cancer is attached to whatever it is that took the life of Akere Dolu. He had struggled so much to retain government of his state. But the president of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, prevailed on this issue and instructed him to do the needful and over to your deputy. This he did. Now, according to the prediction, Prophet Marcos Tibetan said, Akere Dolu will not finish his second term in office as governor. Akere Dolu's second term started January 2023. Ups and downs, health issue, crisis here and there, battle between Akere Dolu's legal wife and an alleged, alleged mistress. All of this is kept on and on. Rumors of Akere Dolu's uh, demise kept on and on for about two to three years. And here we are today. Finally, Akere Dolu is no more. You heard at the beginning of this video, Prophet Marcos de Beton saying Akere Dolu is dead. The governor is dead. Let, let us listen to some of the writings in his prediction. And before proceed, like and share this video, tap on the subscribe button. Very important. Turn on the notification bell. Some some state in Nigeria. Akeru Dolu should look at his foundation from where he started and his beginning. He should look at how much he has stolen from the people's treasury. All the property he has stolen, has acquired, he should ask himself whether, whether he can sleep in two rooms at the same time. He should remember the prophecy concerning his wife. The woman does not have any luck. It is your luck that is shining on her. Just like Thomas, Thomas Sankara's wife, why, why Thomas Sankara was alive, his wife was enjoying. The, but immediately Thomas Sankara died, she went to the hospital. They went to the hospital. Nobody helped him to carry his bag. She has to cover her head with. He has to cover herself by carry a load by herself, and um, even the umbrella in his hand was not. So Akele Dolu wife has wasted a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Akele Dolu should look at how much he wasted he wasted on his mother's burial. How can a governor lease, lease out the farm the farmland of his uh, of his people for 99 years? 
be be expecting more crime in Ore and environment due to hunger. It was Ore. Oh. The trailer fell yes. and burnt a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It happened in Ore. And that was, has happened this year. Then he should try and help people. Akere Jolo should touch, he should try and touch life. Akere Jolo should construct the short link from Ibokoda I, 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 I to Lagos. In Nondo State, in 2003, there will be peace. Akere Jolo should assign more men to assist him. Amateku cannot do, do it alone. They need to they need us to they need to be assisted by some joint task force agriculture. Let's see the last one. Then he said the Lord said his casket has been brought hmm. for 2023. That's Revelation 2020. Yes. I carry the should pray hard not to finish his his because he cannot finish the second time, his second turn on. Because he is not it is not what God, what he did was not the God's program for him. What he could have done is to take care of his career and health. Mm. Then the Lord said, his casket has been brought and the day of him entering into the casket is very near. Mm. Then to be, to be precise, Akira Dolo and his wife will die. Leave his position to his Leave his position, strip to his own, own. Leave his position to someone else. Yeah. Yes, hand over to the, to the deputy. Yes. Then, the, their their third child should be should be should be prayed for to save him from the accident. Your your moeketa, we need a lot of prayer too, because there because there are three grave dogs. In that family. Yeah, yes. I don't know, make sure you bring peace back to Ifo before the end of his tenor. We should pray very hard for the people of Ifo because the Lord said a new order will be will be enthroned, will be a, a lawyer, and a new monarch will be carried there. That's all. That's all. Then all the forests in our work need to be strictly policed. policed. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Welcome back. You heard from self-acclaimed prophet Marcus Tibetan, known as the Nostradamus of our time. He has a lot of prediction that has come through, and there are some prediction that um, did not come through. Now, according to some people who have understanding of these things, they will say that predictions are to guide. And at times, there are some predictions that have no uh, way out of. But let us look at some of the predictions of um, the prophet, or let us hold on to one. He talked about Bolamet to Numbu, but uh, people felt that the prophet somehow changed the goalpost. The prophet revisited or reviewed is vision and like i've always said visions are like uh, tv stations it can be changed it can change at any time but how do we now balance if a seer is saying the truth or not i'm not going to dwell on that let us look at one or two things as regards the prophecy of akiri dolu akiri dolu's wife and third child must be prayed for to avert sin that has happened to Akiri Dolu. He talked about accident for the third child and um, if I am correct, I think Akiri Dolu's wife will be in the range of 70, 71 uh, because um, she wanted to celebrate her birthday in a big way. And the indigents of Ondo State uh, frowned on this and said, how can you, uh, why, why would you celebrate birthday when your husband is sick? Now, Akiri Dolu, like I said initially, wanted to run the state even though he wasn't fine. And the president had to instruct him to hand over to the deputy because uh, problem 
was already beginning in Ondo State. Parties were divided and people wanted him to just hand over. And the man is not ready to relinquish power. R.K. Ray Dolu has been trying to survive, trying to just get himself back. But somehow, he just could not finish that second term. Same as predicted by Prophet Marcos Tibeto. Well, such is life. Now, he made reference to the wife of um, Akere Dolu, saying that Akere Dolu is the light, the star, the glory of the wife. And once the husband is gone, that is the end of the wife. Well, I don't know what he meant or what he means by that. If Akere Dolu is no longer governor of the state, and that, that, that's the end of it. Akere Dolu used to be a lawyer, senior advocate. Apart from that, being governor of Ondo State brought Akere Dolu to limelight. I mean, people got to know who he is. So if he is gone, I don't think uh, Akere Dolu's wife, probably that's what the governor is, is um, trying to say. I don't think Akere Dolu's wife um, can push and press for anything in Ondo State. She's from the southeast of Nigeria. Tribe will come to play in whatever she wants to engage in and i don't think akiri dolu's um, children the eldest akiri dolu's son i mean eldest son i don't think he has that uh, um push i don't think uh, he can press like his father there are people who are ready to compete there are people who are ready to challenge his father so uh, when he was alive so i don't think uh, maybe in the near future i don't know we cannot write off um, anybody. Maybe in the near future, with all that uh, they have acquired, you know, politicians, what they do. And um, Prophet Marcos referenced to that too, that uh, Akere Dolu stole a lot, took a lot from the state, spent and lavished a lot even during his own mother's burial. A lot of money wasted. Maybe some of this, you know, loot, will be used by Kerry Dolu's son to further his political career in that state. That will be the next um, point of call. How to further his own political career. Maybe he's going to start somewhere here and there and then gather strength, muscle here and there. And uh, maybe, I don't know, but let us keep our fingers crossed. Let's keep our fingers crossed and see um, what will become of the lineage of Akere Dolu in Ondo State or in Nigeria in general. May the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace and may God grant the family of the deceased strength to carry on.